Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, September 21st. The glory of Christ is our strength. It may not be on the mountain height or over the stormy sea. It may not be at the battle's front. My Lord will have need of me. But if by a still small voice he calls to paths I do not know, I'll answer, dear Lord, with my hand in thine. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll go where you want me to go, dear Lord, or mountain, or plain, or sea. I'll say what you want me to say, dear Lord. I'll be what you want me to be. The glory of Christ is our strength. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Behold, said Jesus, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Christ himself did not suppress one word of truth, but he spoke it always in love. He exercised the greatest tact and thoughtful kind attention in his intercourse with the people. He was never rude, never needlessly spoke a severe word, never gave needless pain to a sensitive soul. He did not censure human weakness. He fearlessly denounced hypocrisy, unbelief, and iniquity. But tears were in his voice as he uttered his scathing rebukes. He wept over Jerusalem the city he loved that refused to receive him, the way, the truth, and the life. They rejected him, the Savior, but he regarded them with pitying tenderness and sorrow so deep that it broke his heart. Every soul was precious in his eyes. While he always bore himself with divine dignity, he bowed with tenderest regard to every member of the family of God. In all men he saw fallen souls whom it was his mission to save. The servants of Christ are not to act out the dictates of the natural heart. They need to have close communion with God, lest, under provocation, self rise up, and they pour forth a torrent of words that are unbefitting, that are not as dew, or the still showers that refresh the withering plants. This is what Satan wants them to do. For these are his methods. It is the dragon that is wroth. It is the spirit of Satan that is revealed in anger and accusing. But God's servants are to be representatives of him. He desires them to deal only in the currency of heaven, the truth that bears his own image and superscription. The power by which they are to overcome evil is the power of Christ. The glory of Christ is their strength. They are to fix their eyes upon his loveliness. Then they can present the gospel with divine tact and gentleness. And the spirit that is kept gentle under provocation will speak more effectively in favor of the truth than will any argument, however forcible. Those who are brought in controversy with the enemies of truth have to meet not only men, but Satan and his agents. Let them remember the Savior's word. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Luke chapter 10 verse 3. Let them rest in the love of God and the spirit will be kept calm even under personal abuse. 
the Lord will clothe them with a divine panoply. His Holy Spirit will influence the mind and heart so that their voices shall not catch the notes of the baying of the wolves. This passage was taken from the Desire of Ages, page 353. Our Daily Bread, September 21st. Have a blessed and happy Sabbath. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.